Hello everybody, my name is Marnie Crazy Gold, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Warband Bank which is account wide and you can basically transfer gold over to other servers even transmog items or battle pets so wherever you want to as it is account wide bank which shares throughout your whole account basically as you can see it says that the warband bank offers storage that is shared with all members of your warband you wish to purchase this tab for the cost of 2.5 million gold to purchase it however that is the final tab so there is a bunch of them the Warband Bank is one of the features arriving with the War Within, which allows you to utilize resources account wide and shares them easily between alts. We had the chance to play with the War Bank on Alpha and test some of its features. And here is the table of contents Gold Transfer, War Bank Tabs, Cost to Purchase All War Bank Tabs, War Bank Tabs Layout, Accessing Your War Bank. War bands in the war within. One of the main features of the bank is the ability to store gold. With this, you can quickly share gold between all characters on your account, even between those from opposite factions without relying on mail, which is going to be better for us as we can transfer gold to other servers and obviously make more gold by really flipping them items on them servers. Better gold for us. Next, we have the war bank tabs. The war bank features five different tabs each capable of holding 98 items for a total of 490 slots. The war bank can hold any item that isn't soul bound to a character. By default, your war bank has zero tabs unlocked. You can check the price to unlock each tab below. Now, this is the crazy part. Cost to purchase all war bank tabs. Each tab costs substantially more than the previous one. The total to unlock all five is 3,126k just for this five tabs, which is insane. With the last tab alone costing a whopping 2.5 million for the last tab. As you can see, it's got all five tabs and then it's got the total amount you need just to buy all five tabs. As you can see, the war bank tab layout looks like this. You can hold a total of 98 items in one tab. That is a limit at the moment. Who knows, this could change to a higher amount later on. And you have five tabs to buy. You can also see there is a bunch of little spaces down here. Maybe they might implement more tabs later on. And that means that it'll cost more to buy them tabs as well. So people need to save a lot of gold just to buy extra tabs maybe in the future. Here is showing you a simple picture basically of your warband bank. Which is where your normal bank is and a regen bank as well. Where you can get your same items just go to any bank you'll be able to see your warband bank as well in additional to regular methods players that have unlocked dynamic duo which is very easy to do basically reach maximum level with two different classes at some point or another will receive the new reward the warband bank distance inhibitor works like a mobile war bank summons a personal portal directly to your warband bank allowing you to withdrawals and deposit for 10 minutes has a cooldown of three hours so much to this warband bank which is going to be absolutely crazy the most important thing what everybody's going to do right now is farm for gold gold making is going to be on the rise and a lot of people are going to be doing this make sure everybody keeps farming gold until this comes out and then you'll have enough to get the warband banks hopefully you enjoyed today's video check out the affiliate links and please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one